Hey yo, what's up? It's your girl, Just For Work. I'm coming to you with some good Christian content. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to me. Also, hit that notification bell. Holla! Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Just For Work, and I'm coming to you with another at work audio file. What, what, what? Here, we're going to be talking about today, Working the Way God Wants, Part 4. Yes, I see promotions ashore. Are you ready? Well, then turn up the dial and listen in. As born-again believers, we enter an old, dusty ship when we join the workforce. And I mean the workforce like in the world, not like your own business, but it's still an old, dusty ship. We get on ships and take a long voyage. Um, there are long nights and hard days, and we, you know, long for more. We strive in ourselves and work hard to get to higher ground. We want to brighten the place up, you know. We should be striving in Him. That's just a side note. But um, we want to brighten the place up, especially in cases where one of the crew, <laughs> um, the crew members on the ship is a pirate. Or say everybody who's surrounding you is a pirate and you're the only true sailor. <laughs> you can see the difference between a pirate and a sailor, right? You want to be a light and shine brightly before the pirates. It's hard, I know, but you must continue to work hard and be a light. Understand you are not alone in your work and in your desire to increase. It doesn't, I mean, when we desire to increase in God, that doesn't go unwitnessed because it's eternal. God will witness to it. God is with you and he knows the desires of your heart because he placed them there. So what does the Bible say about promotions? I just have a couple bullet points here that I wanted to cover. First, be humble. James 4 and 10. Um, read that. <laughs> be humble before God and he will lift you up or exalt you. Be patient. First Peter 5 and 6. Be humble and patient. Um, when you read that, you'll see. That God will lift you up in due time. God's time is not according to your will. It's according to his will. So be patient. And be glad. I mean, if you read Isaiah chapter 60, focus on verse 1 first. But read the whole chapter. Go ahead. But arise and be glad and know that the same God that shines his light on the earth is the same God that puts his light in you. So be patient and be a light. So we've covered three things so far. Be patient, be humble, and be a light. Okay? That's so important. I want you to look at 1 Peter 5 and 7 as well. Because sometimes while we're being humble and we're being patient, oh, we get so tired. Or, oh, we get so anxious. Anxious. 1 Peter 5 and 7. You'll hear this. Waiting can make you anxious. So give that anxiety to God. He is God. He can handle it. He cares. He understands. Plus, guys, he already knows how you feel. Lastly, trust God. Psalms 37 and 4. When we're in him, he'll give us the desires of our heart. John 15 and 7. When we remain in him, we will receive according to his will. Whatever he wants will be in us. So we'll receive what we want because it's of him. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. I just want you to focus in on trusting God. Trust God. He will see you through. It may be to a promotion or a new position or even, even like, you know, leaving the industry that you're working in. Or an entirely new direction. A different direction. I just want you to just trust him. Be in him. He will direct your paths. That's so important to remember. Turn to Jeremiah 29 and 11. God created everything. 
You, me, this desk I'm sitting at, the trees outside. He created this world, so he already knows the plans he has for you. He built the ship. He created the crew. Even though they're pirates, he created them. When will you cease and he increase? When will you depend on him instead of them being the world? He is our life. And this world is in his hands. He has the blueprints. Let him be the author. And you sit down and read the book. That's all I'm trying to say. I want you to stop existing around him and be in him. Trusting him with your entire life, including your work life. Even though it's small, it's still a big part of your life. Trust God in it. Now, lastly, walk it out. <laughs> in faith, we trust that God will see us through to the next level in him. Because realistically, earthly success is not even important. It's not important. I mean... Life in him is the real success. The real success is excelling in your heavenly father's will and his plans, not your own. John 8 and 12. Our God is the creator of light. I want you to know that. The, I mean, the scripture says he's the light of the world. He will never lead us into darkness. So when darkness, the darkness of the seas, the darkness of the ship, the dark behaviors of our crewmates, the dark behaviors of our commander, uh, of our ship, or, or whatever a ship commander is called, I don't know. But listen, when the darkness surround us, surrounds us and creates a blockade in our mind, I'm telling you in our professional development, it creates a blockade. You need to stop and consider and identify his will. Is a decision God-centered or is it about you? Two, you need to pray. God, what will you have me do? What do you want me to do? Number three, trust that God is in control. Fight off fear. That's number four. Fight off fear by standing on God's truth. He is holy and his word is too, you know? And lastly, number five, move in faith according to his will. You can't stop in parking lot pimp in fear or anything you have to move forward in God, in, in God and in faith that's all I'm saying so when it comes to promotions you need to trust him you need to be patient and you need to walk it out and the very first point go back to that be humble because he will exalt you all right guys it's been real I'm looking forward to seeing you next week or whatever you hear me next week whatever but keep him first be safe and be saved. Peace.